M. Gammon DuPont writes, why did it take over five years for them not to make Edgar Wright's Ant-Man? I love the way that question, right, why did it not. take five years to not make it? No, that's, that's, that is a great question. That's a money question right there because – Look, we all, as fans, sensible ones anyway, we we all understood that the parting of ways between Edgar Wright and Marvel, it had been five years since, you know, Edgar Wright had come up with his Ant-Man film. And now the Marvel Cinematic Universe is a different place than it was when he created that film. It wasn't going to fit in. And they parted ways. Nobody's fault, not Edgar's fault, not Marvel's fault. It was probably the right decision for everybody. But the money question is, why did it take them five years? I was on a panel with Edgar Wright five or six years ago talking about Ant-Man. But why did it take that long? Now, whether it was because Marvel threw the brakes on it saying, hey, uh, we got this new plan. We, we need to get this Iron Man knocked out of the park first. Uh, we need to get this Thor thing. And then we're going to go into with uh, Avengers. And your plan for Ant-Man doesn't really fit into that. So let's do Ant-Man after that. Maybe just got push back. I know Edgar has kept, had kept himself busy in that entire time frame. He had kept himself busy. So maybe it was his schedule that was putting things off. Like in the between time he did, uh, uh, what's the one he, he did with the, the world's end, but the world's end, I can, world's I can, end but and Scott Pilgrim, mm -hmm. he did in between that time. I can too, tell so. you, I, I spoke with Edgar like, uh, not the last comic con ago. Oh yeah. We were at that party. Yeah. So I spoke to him and he actually told me in confidence. He, he said why Ant-Man was delayed is because they had they were about to make Ant Man and then they had to he had to put the brakes on it to make the right. world's end because one of the producers of the world's end was very ill and they had always made a promise to each other that they would make this Cornetto trilogy and make these three movies. So they were gonna make World's End after Ant Man and then they had to honor the agreement. They didn't have to, but Edgar's a cool guy and he was like, you know what? I'm gonna make this film so that just in case bad things happen with this producer's life, like he dies or something that, that will have made that third film. And that's why they all did it. That's why they kind of rushed into making World's End so quickly. You know, you hadn't heard about it. And all of a sudden, oh my God, they're done filming it. You know, it's like, it's one of those things. And because that film then delayed Ant-Man another two full years, Marvel's cinematic universe had then kept now, evolving. Yeah, kept evolving and then, then became a, a more established thing. So what he had been developing for the previous up to that point was, three and a half years then became five and a half years. And then, you know what I mean? It, it just, now it was a different world and didn't fit in. So that's, that's the story I got. That's well, way more insight than I could ever win. I, I need to hang out with you guys at Comic-Con parties. Tomorrow. <laughs> just let me say, I'm really glad he told you that in confidence. Otherwise it might've leaked out. <laughs> well, no, that, but that was, that was several years ago, guys. <laughs> he leads off the story. So he told me this thing in confidence. Let me tell you exactly what he told me in confidence. Don't well, let no. John Schnapp have your ATM codes. Kid. Guys, hang on a second. He just said it to me. He didn't say like, don't tell tell anyone he just said this is what happened <laughs> No wonder you don't get invited to Star Wars Celebration. You're going to give away all the secrets, man. So jo Joss Whedon comes up to me and says, I got to tell you something. You got to keep it totally secret. I said, sure, no thing, Joss. And this is what he told me. And it wasn't totally secret. I know. I don't. I don't actually don't feel bad even saying it because he didn't say, don't tell anyone. He just it's told me. Story. I asked you, you, it's you, a good story. Yeah. A very and I don't story. feel bad saying it. Edgar, you're awesome. So. 